Okay, class, we are going to get started on the prologue of Echo. Before I actually start reading the book, I want to tell you what a prologue is, and then we are going to set a purpose for our reading. So what is a prologue? We can use some Greek and Latin roots in order to investigate or infer what a prologue is. Prologue. L O G U E. Prologue. I know that pro is a prefix that means before. In a lot of other words, I also know what log is, but you might not. So let's think about another word that contains that root log. I'm thinking of the word dialogue. So dialogue is usually a conversation. So it has something to do with words. And this is true of prologue as well. So pro is before and log is words or speaking. Based on this, and on me saying we're going to start with the prologue of the book, write your own definition for what you think prologue means. Now that you've written a definition in your notebook that you think prologue means, I'm going to give you a good definition and you can tell me or um, you can edit yours if it is not quite right, if yours isn't quite right, or if yours is a little off. So. A prologue is an introduction, an introduction or beginning part before. The rest of the story. So our Greek and Latin roots and our prefix pro really did help us understand what prologue meant. Now let's set a purpose for our reading. While we're reading the prologue today, and keeping in mind that a prologue is an introduction or a beginning part before the rest of the story, I want us to really focus on how our author, Pam Munoz Ryan, really um, sets the stage or introduces the text to us. What kinds of word choices do, does she use? What kinds of plot elements and writing elements? How does she introduce the characters? What kind of feeling do we get from the words that she uses? We're going to really think about all of those elements of what we call, I'm going to change my color, oh. author's craft. And those are her decisions, the author's decisions about how to write this story. And they would be pretty unique and different that even if we gave the same idea to another author, they would write it differently than um, the author of this book, Pam Munoz Ryan. So author's craft um, is going to include dialogue, It's going to include word choice. It's going to include the 
like structure. For example, does she include flashbacks? Does she include, um, like, is it in sequential order? Is there one narrative, um, or sorry, one narrator? Or are there multiple narrators? All of those things are the choices that the author makes in um, creating the text. So with that in mind, as we're focusing, or as I'm reading this text to you, really focus on how she chooses to introduce the story. And based on that, what do you think the rest of the story is going to look like? You can think back and look back on what you, um, what you wrote in our pre from our previous video where we predicted some things about the text based on the book jacket, the cover, and um, some other elements of what we saw in the book, or on the book.